Good morning students I hope you all are doing well So today the next topic is expanded form and place value okay in decimal numbers So I have two numbers 12.39 and 0.523 I have to write these two numbers in expanded form and I have to find the place value of 3 in both the numbers For this I have made this place value chart you already know about place value chart 1 tens 100 then after decimal point 10th 100th and 1000th okay so first 12.39 as you know decimal point before decimal it is 2 so 2 is at 1's position 1 is at 10's position okay and after decimal 3 is at 10th position And nine is at hundredth position. Okay. Similarly, for zero point five two three, there is no whole number part. Point se pehle zero hai. That means there is no whole number part. So we'll write zero at one's place. Decimal point five is at tenth place. Then two is at hundredth place, and three is at thousandth place. So I have arranged. these two numbers in place value chart so the next thing is i have to write the expanded form of 12.39 so how will i write it see the first digit it is 1 we know that 1 is at tens place so the place value of 1 will be 1 is since 1 is at tens place 1 multiplied by 10 Similarly the uh, place value of 2 will be 2 is at ones place 2 multiplied by 1 3 is at tenth sorry tenth place so the place value of 3 will be 3 multiplied by 1 by 10 which will be equal to 3 by 10 3 tenth 9 is at hundredth place so the place value of 9 will be 9 multiplied by 1 by 100 Which will be equal to nine upon hundred or nine hundred. Similarly, for five two three zero uh, zero it is it is at ones place. So zero multiplied by one. This is the place value of zero, which is equals to zero. Uh, one multiplied by ten ten. Two multiplied by one two. Ambient. So five is that tenth place. Five multiplied by one by ten will be equal to five upon ten, which is five tenth. So I am writing the place values. Okay, these all are the place value which I place values which I have written with the pencil. Two is at hundredth place, so the place value of two will be two multiplied by one by hundred, which will be equal to two upon hundred, two hundred. Three is at thousandth place, so the place value of three will be three multiplied by one upon thousand, which will be equal to three upon thousandth. So three thousandth. Okay, so I have written the place values now, and we know uh, what are the expanded form. We will just add the place values of all the digits and write the expanded form. So the expanded form of twelve point three nine will be equal to the first digit is one, so ten plus the second digit is two. The place value of two is two only, then plus. The place value of three is three by ten. So three by ten plus the place value of nine is nine by hundred or nine hundred. So nine upon hundred. This will be the expanded form of twelve point three nine. Similarly, for zero point five two three, zero multiplied by one is zero. So the place value of zero is zero. Zero. Uh, we no need to write that zero. We'll move to five. The place value of five is five tenth. So first you will write five tenth plus two is that hundredth position. Place value of two is two hundredth. So two upon hundred plus three is that thousand position. The place value is three thousand. So we have written the expanded form. So expanded form of twelve point three nine will be this, and the expanded form of zero point five two three will be this. Okay. First, we have found the place value of each digit, and then we added, just added, to find the expanded form. 
Last thing is the place value of 3 in both the numbers. It's easy. We have already find or found out the place value of 3. So the place value of 3 in 12.39 is 3 upon 10. Place value is nothing but the digit multiplied by its place value. So 3 multiplied by 1 by 10 is 3 by 10 which is nothing but 3 tenth. You can write 3 upon 10 or 3 tenths. Okay. And the place value of 3 in the second number 5, 2, 3. 3 is at 1000th position. So the place value of 3 will be 3 1000th. And we can write as 3 3000. Okay, so in this we discussed about the expanded form, how to write the expanded form, and how to find the place value of each digit. I hope you all must have understood. And for this, just remember the place value chart, and you will be able to find the expanded form and place value. Thank you and have a nice day.